You've got the best of the bakery case with this easy dessert. Doesn't that look gorgeous? It's a simplified version of the decadent eclair all dressed up for peach season, which I professed it yesterday. I'll say it again, my favorite season. I love uh. the fresh peach time of year. Becky Lowe from the Dairy Farmers of Utah and Idaho brings us the square eclair. I also love a recipe that rhymes. <laughs> I mean, I'm loving Did everything about this. Oh, well, thanks. And you know, I love the peach connotation. This, this is peach season. It's gonna be on for a while. And the, the peach saying is a, uh, it's a colloquial term that that's really good. And so uh, this is a peach of a recipe. A peach of a <laughs> it's recipe. A peach of a recipe. <laughs> what gives it the eclair effect? All right, we are making some cream puffs with it. That's the basic recipe. Um, and Cami Bigler with uh, Bigler.net. Yes. Biggie? No biggie, no, no biggie. biggie. Let me yes, get that yes, straight. Yes. I saw a picture of her uh, eclair squares and I thought, well, this is fun. So I've used my recipe, adapted a little bit. And so thanks, Cammie, for the idea. We've got it from here. I love it. All right, so let me show you what we're doing. Um, I love making eclairs or cream puffs and it's a basic cream puff battery. So what we have is just some water and butter. Okay. I'm gonna give you that. Okay. Let's turn off the heat. All right. In fact, move it over here because you the don't heat. want to have the, uh, the heat on it. Okay. okay, now I'm gonna dump this all in at once, one cup of flour, so it's one stick of butter, one cup of water, one and one cup of flour. Stir it all in. Am I attempting to make what you were just missing? <laughs> Is that the goal? You are. <laughs> okay, oh shoot. Okay, so just keep mixing until it forms a ball. Okay. And it does, you know, it does. See, there it is. Is that, that a half that a half face? <laughs> a tone in your voice? Absolutely. It's gonna happen. It's gonna happen. Yep, and you just wanna make sure that the flour's all mixed in and it's good and, and steady. Uh, this is an arm creamy. burn. Yeah. <laughs> Hold on. Melanie, Melanie <laughs> yeah, Douglas, you know, be, who said we don't exercise in the she'd kitchen? She'd be so proud of us. We're burning Perfect. off the calories we're about to eat. See how that eat. forms a ball? Yeah, okay. All right, next thing is that we're gonna add some eggs to it, mm -hmm. and we'll add four eggs, but you only wanna do one at a time, so beat that in. Okay. And, and you think at first that that is never gonna mix in. It's the same thing with that flour, so just keep mixing. It's a principle of faith. <laughs> yep, in <laughs> fact, when you add all four of them, all right, I'll give you a break. My gosh, Becky. <laughs> just keep mixing. It takes um, just a couple of minutes to mix it in, but it really is fast. In fact, some people like to put this in a stand mixer. <laughs> I'm lazy. <laughs> <laughs> right. I didn't do it for you. Yeah, yeah. Some people say it goes fast when you're not the one mixing, minus the sand well, the stand I'm mixer. Lazy no, and this saves green I dish. could use a little arm burn. <laughs> Alright, so you're getting it. It's mixed in. So once it's mixed in, you add the others. This is what it looks like. And then we want to put it Over onto here. a Over here. Uh, yeah. Yes. Here it is. Okay. This is what it looks like. Okay, we're gonna spread it out. Now normally, if this is a cream puff batter, you would take it by tablespoonfuls and just put it onto an ungreased cookie sheet okay. and bake it for about um, 20 to 25 minutes. Mm -hmm. So we're gonna put it out on a, on a flat sheet. Now, I like to use parchment paper. Hold on to that parchment sure. paper. <laughs> this is something Emmy can have, help with. Oh, you know, you know so, she'd love it. Um, but I like to put it on the parchment paper just because it makes it much easier to uh, take out later. Mm -hmm. You know, you can do it without, but it's going to um, um, stick. Mm -hmm. Okay, so we want to do that. Um, or if you have a non-stick pan, great. And just kind of work that to the sides. Okay. I also will use a spoon um, and spread that out. Okay, and to save a little bit of time, pretend that's all spread out. I see it all spread. Perfectly <laughs> spread and distributed, yes. I like to cook this way. <laughs> okay, so what we wanna do is bake this for about 20 to 25 minutes until okay. it's golden brown. Okay. What do we have? Ta-da. Should we trade it out? Yep. Let's put this on here, that on there. There we go. There's the cream puff. And you bake it until it's nice and golden brown that and it's kind of puffy. That lovely. I love it. You know, I love making cream puffs. I've always enjoyed it. Now let's do the filling with it. So instead of stuffing those, cutting them, stuffing them. Right. You know, I, I still like doing the traditional. We're gonna um, fast cut uh -huh. some of the recipe. Uh -huh. So I'm just using uh, lemon pudding. Okay, and um, it, I'm using two boxes, but I'm only putting two cups of milk with it. Yeah. Okay, now look at this little thing. What's that? <laughs> okay, it, it's pink. <laughs> it is pink. It's peach. <laughs> so what I've done is just add a little bit of uh, peach jello. Okay. And we warm it up. Don't get it hot or it's gonna curdle your milk. Warning, don't okay. get it hot. You've been warned. Okay, yep. And we'll just stir this in. So that's the flavor that you're adding yeah, to the yellow. Yeah, it just has okay. a subtle flavor to it. Okay. So we're getting lemon and, and peach. Is yep. that lemon? I'm going to have you do that. <laughs> of course I this you part. are. Let's step aside. <laughs> of course. You know, I could do this all day. <laughs> Stir it in. Okay. 
and then I'll take over and do it if you want me no, to. No, no, I'm that. good. I'm teasing. <laughs> I have this funny memory. My grandma used to always make a Claire. She was such an excellent cook for baby showers or any party or gathering. Uh -huh. And I was little, and I remember eating it, and it was smearing all over my face as the Claire's are supposed to do. And I remember saying to her, Grandma, the Ken's Bakery did a really good job on these. And she got this look on her face like, this was not from Ken's <laughs> Bakery. This is from Grandma <laughs> Joe's Kitchen. I remember feeling uh, like I had like ultimately insulted her in that moment. Okay, we're good with that. Kay. Let's take that out because I don't want to whip down the cream with this and so we have a thicker pudding mm -hmm. and we're going to add a little bit of whipped cream to this oh, okay stir that in and i like to use a spatula better kind of lightens we'll it up fold gives it, that it in. Yeah. fluffiness yeah it makes it a little bit easier to fold in the other so we will end up folding in two cups of whipped cream okay and the real dairy ingredients actually make this you know, any chef will tell you that you want real butter, not yes, margarine, yes. and that you want real, real whipped cream with it. And then we will spread this onto our baked uh, cream puff pastry. It's so pretty. Yeah. Yes. And what we have is over here at the Look side. At this. You've garnished it, topped it so beautifully with the chocolate ganache dri drizzle and the fresh. <laughs> why are you laughing? Because it's chocolate syrup. Oh. Okay, well, I was just giving it a little upgrade there. Whatever oh, you like happen that. to have, Hershey's or Beyond. Fresh fruit on top, the peach and the raspberries, which is a delicious combination. Just a little sprig of basil. Is that basil? Yep. Uh, mm. No, it's mint. Oh, sorry, it's mint. mint. Yeah. Uh -huh. And this is nice to carry, so you can put a lid on it, put a piece of plastic wrap on it, you can make it today, serve it tomorrow, although who wants to? You want to eat it today. <laughs> I don't know there will be much left tomorrow, but I don't think we can't so wait either. to try this. Square Eclair is great for a party, great for a gathering, or great just because. Becky, thank you so much. You bet. You can look for Becky's Square Eclair recipe on our website, studio5.ksl.com, and as promised, this adds to our peach recipe collection that is growing for peach season 2018. There's lots of great fresh peach recipes waiting there for you, so if you want to cook and bake with what's in season, we'll hopefully be the inspiration to help you do that as well. The recipe tab is where you want to go.